So Dig Pink turns a volleyball game into a fundraiser to fund answers for metastatic breast cancer individually, one by one, patient by patient. Gary, why don't you tell me about Maureen and, and your children and, and what you experienced? Well, thanks, Angie. And, and um, so it was early Monday, October 20th, and Maureen and I suddenly realized that we were at the end of an 11-year journey. We rushed from our oncologist's office to Seton Hospital because we suddenly realized that we needed um, a care team around us that had all the tools at their disposal. We hadn't given up. We never gave up any day of the 11 years as the breast cancer did what it did inside of her body. But cancer only attacks the body. It does not attack the soul. And Maureen and I's soul were one. We loved each other. And just before she went to sleep, she was watching our little girl, Kyla, seventh grade at the time, playing a volleyball game. And she kept saying, finish the day. In the middle of the night, she had taken her last breath. That's why I do what I do, because I still love my Maureen. And I don't like the fact that 44,000 women and men a year die of metastatic breast cancer. I went in, I kind of knew that there was going to be an issue. There was a mass that had changed um, from a cyst, and they confirmed that it was malignant. Um, like you and Maureen, I'm sure, the first thought I had were my kids. How are I going to tell my children that they have cancer? We went from the mammogram to the biopsy confirmation, which we suspected. Um, I had a mastectomy, a radical one, um, which was very intense. Did the radiation. It was quite a um, painful event. Um, I didn't have to have chemo. Um, and right now, um, I'm cancer free, as they say, um, but with the reoccurrence rate of about um, eight to 10 percent. I agree with you that initiatives like this help families, help everyone move past being cancer free to staying that way. So I think the fact that we're, you know, working on a cure and, and working on a way where cancer doesn't have to come back, you know, you only have to fight it once. And once you win, once it's you over. Win, you really do win. Yes, we're not yep. having a rematch. Yep. Um, and so I'm, I'm on board with you. So Dig Pink um, turns a volleyball game into a fundraiser to fund answers for metastatic breast cancer individually, one by one, patient by patient. And the Dig Pink is a program of the Side Out Foundation. And so Side Out is all about giving women and some men control back over their lives when breast cancer becomes hard, when it becomes metastatic, when it becomes terminal. And so those Dig Pink dollars that the girls will raise at their Dig Pink game at St. Andrews and thousands of high schools around the country all go into siding out cancer and getting answers to create more tomorrows. Let's get answers for those folks that are dealing with metastatic breast cancer where it's changing so fast you need answers quickly, right? And I think in the process of this game unfolding, um, like the one that folks wanna come to on September 30th, Friday night, five o'clock, St. Andrews Episcopal School here in Austin, come watch this game, come watch these young ladies playing a game with heart and spirit because even though there will be a competitor on the other side of the net, we are playing together. Our company, is gonna to donate to this cause, not just because of me, but just because of all the women who work here, all the children of the women that work here. We wanna make a difference. We want our people to be supported because it, breast cancer touches a lot of people. You at US Money Reserve uh, are taking your story and making it possible for us to initiate the first corporate challenge around a dig pink game, which is so incredibly exciting because it really is a team effort, both on the court uh, and in the fight with cancer. And so on Friday, September 30th at our dig pink game at St. Andrews, um, we'll be kicking off this corporate challenge. If you follow along at uh, sideout.org uh, slash SAS dig pink 2022, uh, we'll be tracking uh, the corporations around Austin uh, that have been kicked off by you and how they're doing. And uh, later in October, uh, we'll be celebrating the top three winners of that corporate challenge. Um, and we hope that you are one of them uh, in this fight with metastatic breast cancer through the Side Out Foundation and the Dig Pink Game. So Gary, you're gonna find that I'm not only very serious about cancer, but I'm serious about winning. So I fully expect that we will be number one on that list. And I challenge all of you businesses, CEOs and managers in Austin to try to beat us. Youthful spirit plus purpose equals change are the words of the founder of the Side Out Foundation, and I couldn't agree more. 
the beauty of this game, the beauty of every touch of a volleyball is actually raising a dollar that gets invested in the life of a patient, gets invested in answers, gets invested in tomorrows. Together, we will not just win a corporate challenge, but we win the challenge of life.